I am Deborah Henry, and I invite you to join me for a few moments as I share my story. The Bible verse, Isaiah 41.10, is riveted in my memory because of a life-threatening experience I had a few years ago. My husband and I were leaving Trinidad for Miami via American Airlines Flight 2282, a flight number I will never forget. As we were leaving home, I turned back for no particular reason and picked up a very small devotional that was lying on a table nearby. I slipped it into my handbag and we headed to the airport. We boarded the flight and we were on our way to Miami. After a few hours, I decided to take the devotional out of my bag and take a look at it. As I opened the book, it fell to a devotional entitled, Don't Be Afraid. And the Bible verse, Isaiah 41.10, Do not fear, for I am your God. I will help you. I will strengthen you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I spent a few moments reviewing the text. I didn't go further into the devotional. I closed it and went to the back of the plane, to the bathroom once again for no particular reason. As I returned to my seat and I was fastening my seatbelt, I looked up and I noticed smoke was pouring into the plane right along the sides below the luggage compartment. The plane quickly filled with smoke and pandemonium broke loose in the plane. I saw a very sedate flight attendant dash madly down the aisle, pounded on the pilot's door, and she returned to the cabin shouting, there's a fire on board and we don't know where it is. Put on your life jackets, we are landing in the sea. The plane immediately got silent and took a dash down below. It started heading towards the waves. I was looking in the window seat. I was sitting at the window seat. And as the plane filled with smoke and we struggled to cover our noses with whatever was available, I took out the book and I showed my husband. I said, God, just give me Isaiah 41.10. He said, do not be afraid. He is with us. He will uphold us. And the plane was heading down. This is a split second scenario. We crouched down into the safety position. And I just kept saying, here am I to worship. Here am I to bow down and I give my God the praise. The plane hovered over the top of the waves. And after what seemed like an eternity, the pilot said, we will be able to make it to Provencialis. My husband stood up and started filming the proceedings. As we arrived at the tarmac, from my window seat, I could see scores of fire engines lining up on the tarmac to receive that plane that was on fire. My sisters, I know God held that plane because of his promise to me and to my husband. We were his precious children on board and he said, I will hold you, my daughter. I will uphold you. My sisters, I don't know what you're going through today. It may be a life-threatening circumstance. It may be a circumstance that is causing fear. But my message to you this morning is that God will hold you. Do not be afraid, my sisters. God is in your future. He's already there and it's going to be okay. My sisters, we serve a God who takes care of his own. He said, don't be afraid. So go for that job. Go for that education. Have hope and faith in that marriage for that child who has gone astray, for that illness that is causing anxiety. My sisters, for years as I traveled, I experienced anxiety attack, but my comfort was always in Sam. Inspired me, Isaiah 41.10, I will help you. 
I will strengthen you. I will uphold you. And that is his message for you today. Don't be afraid. My sisters, on this day when we celebrate women, he is saying to you, my dear, darling daughter, I will uphold you. I will strengthen you. I will help you. So trust him and don't be afraid.